Bioinformatics for Infectious Diseases is an online training program designed for biologists, clinicians, and students that are interested in virology and immunology and would like to learn about the use of bioinformatics and big data for infectious disease research, diagnostics, as well as drug and vaccine development. As we hear more and more about infectious diseases in the news, for the first time, we can learn about recent outbreaks and even current coronavirus epidemic by analyzing data that is made available for the research community with increasing speed and in increasing volumes. Just for this ongoing coronavirus outbreak, detailed maps of reported cases, genomic information from viral strains, protein structures, and other data is being updated on a daily basis, opening the door for anyone to access and use this information. That's why we designed this program to introduce the data, resources, and tools that you can use to apply bioinformatics to publicly available data on infectious diseases. In this program, we will understand viral diversity and its role in epidemic infectious diseases that keep re-emerging, including zoonotic transmission, transmission between humans, and the process of viral and bacterial disease development. Learn about bioinformatics analysis approaches to study viral genomes and understand relationships between viral strains and haplotypes, finding differences in sequence data, and seeing the implication for drug and vaccine design. Gain hands-on experience by analyzing curated datasets from public domain collections guided by experts with bioinformatics expertise and knowledge about virology. We will see how bioinformatics can help us understand zoonotic transmission, viral replication, and adaptation to various tissues in our body, helping overcome our immune response. Together, we will understand how the data analysis tools can help detect viral genomes and next-generation sequencing data, identify specific viral strains and haplotypes from NGS files like FASTQ and FASTA, apply comparative analysis to gain insight into vaccine design, and look into the principles of antiviral drug design as well as the development of resistance to standard drugs, including superbugs that do not respond to antibiotics. The program will provide several examples of disease projects with curated data sets and guided analysis sessions to see how bioinformatics is used for infectious disease research. In every example, we will use the epidemic outbreak data and study it to understand what we can learn and how we can analyze the factors contributing to the rate of infection, the disease outcomes, and other symptoms that are being recorded, linking them to viral data. We will also discuss major publications that came out during or after these epidemics and see how volumes of available data and innovative approaches to data analysis led to major discoveries that resulted in better understanding of disease, development of vaccines, antiviral drugs, and a deeper understanding of disease progression that is changing how we apply diagnostic and intervention strategies in current outbreaks. We will see how one can find, download, and use the data that is freely available on NCBI. But this data requires effective use of bioinformatics analysis methods to process, analyze, and interpret biologically meaningful patterns. So we will learn about these analysis approaches and study viral genomes and practice on curated datasets that have been prepared, annotated, and tested by our team. We will learn to use the intuitive tBioInfo platform that anyone can use without any coding background or expertise, where such analysis can be performed easily for large numbers of viral genomes or even next-generation sequencing data that comes directly from patients. For example, we will learn about phylogenetic relationships between different viral strains by performing a similar analysis on our own and understanding how we can visualize and study this kind of data in a meaningful and practical way. By practicing analysis on the prepared datasets, you will understand the meaning of each step and will be able to design an analysis pipeline of your own, obtaining biologically interpretable results and then visualizing those to share with others. We will also review examples and several tools developed to help navigate big datasets and connect the various aspects of sequence, structure, and metadata into a single experience. This will help us map mutations on 3D structures of viral proteins, which can be studied separately, or in complexes, as they are found during viral replication inside the cell. 
we will learn how we can use the genomic data analysis to see the changes between viral strains and different significance levels of detected changes due to their 3D position on protein structures. So we will find that multiple sequence alignment can be a powerful tool to understand viral adaptation between animals and humans and study the relationship between viral and host proteins like the trimeric SARS coronavirus surface spike glycoprotein that binds to the cellular receptor angiotensin converting enzyme 2 and mediates fusion of the viral and cellular membranes through a pre- and post-fusion conformation transition. This type of structural data is also important for antiviral drug design like this NSP1 host translation inhibitor which facilitate efficient viral gene expression in infected cells and evasion from host immune response. We will also discuss the relationship between conserved regions in viral proteins, the structure of small molecule binding sites, and the efficacy of antiviral drug design for diverse viral populations or haplotypes that are typically present in a given outbreak. We welcome you to join the program. We invite students, biologists, and clinicians that see the value and opportunity of big data to study and understand infectious diseases and their agents, viruses, and bacteria. The program will start May 4, 2020. We welcome you to register early to benefit from early bird discounts and ensure availability.